Uh, Lori is also the secretary treasurer of her union Move Up. And the next you can see her fearlessly leading team more than you bargained for at the, uh, the High Act New Westminster Senior Secondary Tug of War on Friday night, September 8th. If you want to come out, if you can bring your muscles or just cheer us on. Sisters, brothers, friends and neighbors, Sister Laurie Mayhew. Happy Labor Day, everybody, and welcome to Holland Park. I want to thank Chief Marilyn Gabriel, Kevin Kelly, and Michael Kelly Gabriel of the Kwantlen First Nation for that wonderful greeting. And I'd like to recognize that we are gathered here today on the unceded territory of the Coast Salish Kwantlen, Katsi, Semiamu, and Musqueam First Nations. What a great day it is to celebrate working people and their families. It's beautiful here. The New Weston District Labor Council, while we're a community-based central labor organization, we represent more than 56,000 union members at the local level in 14 lower mainland municipalities. And we're chartered, yeah, we're chartered by the Canadian Labor Congress, and our goal is to ensure that our communities and our elected representatives, there's so many of them here today, it's great to see you all, uh, that they respond to the needs of people and their families. We've also invited today local immigrant and refugee groups here to join us because the labor movement is about more than just unions. It's about working together to build a stronger, more inclusive and compassionate society to make a better quality of life for all people. And if you're here today and you're new to Canada, I want to welcome you to Labor Day. And it's easy to remember, it's, it's easy, sorry, to forget that we didn't always have everything that we have now. We had to work hard for it. We had to stand together and fight. But it's not enough to just celebrate what we've achieved. There's still many battles to be fought for equity, for dignity, for fairness. We must rededicate ourselves to standing strong together, to being vigilant, protecting against the erosion of our rights and benefits. Most importantly, we must challenge the right wing and corporate economic theories that benefit the 1%, that tell us that unions aren't needed, that demand that young workers accept less, and that retirees give up what they've earned. Unions, by our very existence, combat inequality, and our strength is one of the best indicators of a just, balanced, and healthy society. Right now, brothers and sisters, there's more than 600 members of the Canadian Union of Public Employees, Local 1816, who are locked out by their employer, Pacific Blue Cross. And they're holding the line to keep their benefits. Many of us have walked the line with them since July 7th to give them our support so that they can last one day longer. And I say to those workers, we stand in solidarity with you and you are not alone. And it might seem over the past year with workers locked out or forced to strike, with divisive attacks on the vulnerable or visibly different, with the rise of fascists, racists, and tyrants in the news, that these are dark times. But there's also reason for hope, my friends. The labor movement and people everywhere have stood up and fought back in numbers not seen in many years. I understand today here we have um, Brother Art Cuby, who's a member of the Order of Canada and past president of the BC Federation of Labor, who well remembers the turbulent days of Operation Solidarity in the 1980s. And now once again, we have demonstrations, marches, gatherings, people speaking out and speaking up across the country against the wrong that they see here and everywhere in the world. And I'm going to close today by bringing greetings from Brother Hassan Youssef, President of the Canadian Labour Congress. And in our long tradition of activism, the CLC is launching a campaign today to make prescription drug coverage universal to the betterment of all Canadians. I encourage you to stop by their tent for more information on how you can get involved <clears throat> and show your support for Universal Pharmacare. And we have great allies in our activism, working with and supporting 
progressive politicians such as our great NDP, MPs, MLAs, progressive mayors, counselors, and school trustees, we address inequality and social justice issues through legislation and government programs. Working with our many community partners, like the United Way of the Lower Mainland, and I've seen Seymour the Otter here, so check out that ma mascot, and Protein for People, we engage directly at the local level to make life better for our neighbors, and in turn, for us all. On behalf of myself, the executive board, affiliated unions, and delegates of the New Westminster and District Labor Council, I invite you to come and chat with us at our booths, have a hot dog or popcorn, listen to some music, join some activities, and let's have a great Labor Day. Thank you. All right, thank you, Lori, for that.